Scooby Dom is one of Scooby Doo's cousins on his mom's side. He is a light gray Great Dane and lives with his owners Ma and Pa Skillet. Dom has the third most appearances out of Doo family member after Scooby Doo and Scrappy Doo. His first appearance was in the Scooby Doo show episode The Gruesome Game of the Gator Ghoul, in which both of the Scoobies reunite and they try to solve a mystery of the alligator monster. This mystery is very important to them as the alligator monster is trying to put these skillets out of business. I think this episode is good at establishing his character and his differences to his cousin. As Scooby Dumb, his name states that he's dumb. But he tries to help the gang, and he very much enjoys looking for clues. This is the only appearance with the gang that it is actually given a reason why he is there. The other three of this era just have him show up for no apparent reason. His second appearance in the Headless Horseman of Halloween. In this episode, he goes to a party with the gang for some reason. And he does what he does, tries to help out the gang in any way he can, looks for the clues. And then in his next appearance, Vampire Bats and Scaredy Cats, he basically does the same exact thing. Also, in both of these episodes, he's referred to as Scooby-Doo's brother, which is a bit odd. Anyways, in his final appearance in the Scooby-Doo show, the Chiller Diller movie thriller, he plays kind of a different role. As in this episode, the villain is trying to kidnap Scooby-Doo. Yes, there are three Scoobies in this episode. Anyways, Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Dum are both trying to one-up each other to impress Scooby-Doo, which is a little bit odd considering that Scooby-Doo is their cousin. He also appeared in the big Hanna-Barbera crossover series, Scooby's All-Star Laugh Olympics, on the scooby Doobies team, with Shaggy, Scooby, and many other crime-fighting characters like the Blue Falcon and Dynamut. scooby Dum might just be my favorite character in the Doo family. I think that the writers got his character just right. I wish we would see more of him. Yes, he was such a staple of that era of Scooby-Doo, and we haven't seen him since Laugh Olympics. Actually, to my knowledge, we haven't seen any of the Scooby's family members since a pup named Scooby-Doo. Well, besides when the writers want to make fun of Scrappy, like in a live-action movie, and as a statue in Mystery Incorporated. I guess they just got bored with the Doo family and threw them out. And threw out scooby Dome with them. Anyways, if you like this video, subscribe. And give it a like. Thanks for watching. See ya.